Hello everyone, this is Ross here for Xbox Gamer Reviews and today we're taking a look at The Little Acre. This is developed by Pewter Games and published by Curve Digital. It's going to be available on the Xbox Store on the 13th of December 2016. Priced at £10.39, that's $12.99. You can also pre-order it now and there's also a pre-order discount available. So if you want to get it, get it now before it's released. Um, right, so yeah, this is The Little Acre, point and click adventure game, a cartoon style graphics. Let's jump straight into it now and take a look at what it's all about. I awoke to the sounds of Lily's gentle snores as they drifted across the bench of love. She was still fast asleep and I needed to keep it that way, or suffer the consequences. Creaky foreboards meant that the simple act of getting dressed will require a little ingenuity. Morning, Dougal. Okay, so we got ourselves dressed. Uh, pretty simple, straightforward point and click game. My boots are nearby. I need to put on my trousers first. This wasn't my first rodeo. Right, so his trousers are there. Yoink. Okay, so there's our items menu. So press Y to make that appear and disappear. Notes as well. So that's your objective in the notes there. Hide the stick now, Watson. You can grab a hint as well if you need to or want to. That's cool. Um, so I'm assuming we go there, select the stick. So we've got the stick now and put it on the trousers. Huh? Lily made a fish and marmalade sandwich for me the day before. I didn't have the heart to refuse, but I wasn't about to eat it. The dog. <laughs> Can we put those on there now? Boots, check. Yep. Alright, next. Sweater. Couldn't do anything about the sweater while Lily was still cooling it. Um, so. More stick. Give the dog the stick. Again. It freed my right. sweater from Lily. <laughs> That's made him roll over. <laughs> she didn't like it. It's one of his breath. <laughs> right. Um. I should be able to get the trajectory right. Okay. He wasn't going to just let me take it. But maybe he'd be interested in a trade. Trade. Yeah, swap the stick for the jumper, I see. There we go. That was my cue to sneak out of there. Okay, interesting so far. I decided I'd cycle to the nearby town. Maybe I'd find someone willing to hire me. Maybe I'd find someone who knew where my dad had gone. But first, I had a few things to take care of. Okay, so that's all of what we've got to do. Notes. I need to get water for Lily's breakfast. I picked up the jug. I need water to make Lily's breakfast. Uh -huh. Bit of a bit of a fluke there. Okay. Anything else? Let's go find some water, I suppose. Um, anything? 
What was that? There. I tried to keep some things out of Lily's reach, but it never worked. Okay. Dad's compactable footstool seemed like a great idea. I wasn't sure why it hadn't taken off. Right, so we've got a jug and a stool. Let's uh, look around. Let's have a look here. Some sort of picture. Yeah, okay. Let's go out the door then. Let's have a look out here. I only ever saw the transmitter active on a few occasions. During those times, Dad would have kept the shed door locked tight. Okay, a weird contraption, but I can see a water pump down there, so... Let's go and have a look at that. I don't know why I walked back the hell then. That was a bit strange. <laughs> right, let's grab that. To collect the water first. Oh yeah, we need to use the, uh, the jug. There we go. The pump handle had snapped, leaving <laughs> only a small section of it protruding from the pump. It was going to take something heavy to force it down. Okay, handle. Can we put that? No. Okay, so. Why did it pick up the water? handle was broken, and the only tools I knew well, of course I didn't pump the water, that's why. <laughs> Come on, get a grip. Right. So. Let's go in here. Have a look. What else we got? There's a door there. Let's go in this door. Stop to think where my dad got the mask or why he wanted it. I was pretty sure I could put it to good use, though. Hmm. <laughs> Lily left Sir Fuzzlepuff here a while ago with strict instructions to report to her immediately if he saw her grandfather. Okay. I had to admit, some of Dad's inventions really were inspired. Dad made his own generator to power his workshop. As with his other inventions, he just refused to explain how it worked. It looked like there was something missing, but I hadn't figured out what. Okay, so, well, we've got a notepad there. This is h 2 The notes indicated that the water could be topped up via the funnel. I presume so. the machine wouldn't work without coolant. Yeah, we're gonna need the water to put in there. Something's gotta go there, and there's some dials and other bits and bobs to mess about with, so we'll come back to that. Check out the other door then. Taking into account Lily's willfulness, it was often easier to indulge her creativity than flat out ask her to do something. In this case, the gnome was a spy who informed me of when Lily wandered too far from the house. Huh. Okay. My trusty bicycle was my main method of transport, and definitely didn't require any modifications, despite what my father said. To the mail? <sighs> Something about a job there, I'm not reading that. Strange light? Newspaper. Oh, it's a package from my father. Again. Arthur, this is the last of the small crystals. I hope this was worth giving up your job for. I'm still finding the whole notion difficult to believe. I'm tempted to make a trip to your home to see it with my own eyes. 
but the fact that you keep the generator in your bedroom is quite unsettling, to say the least. If what you say about the lesser crystals is true, then I fear what may happen when this company begins experimenting on the large one. It's still safe for now, but I don't think it'll be possible to smuggle it out of here without anyone noticing. Given the apparent results of your own experiments, it's possible they'll listen to your warning. However, it's more likely they'll see nothing other than the potential for profit. For now, I'll do my best to impede their research. Stay safe, my friend. Nina. Cool. The uh, story's starting to unfold a little bit now. crystal was obviously important to my father. I couldn't help but wonder if I had anything to do with going missing. I decided to do a little snooping around. Got a load of stuff there. Okay. Next. Now that I had a lead on my dad's whereabouts, I definitely couldn't leave. Okay, we can't leave, so... Let's go back inside. What was we doing? We were trying to get that water pump to work. Um, so... We go handle. There's a solid block of wood next to the pump. Uh, right, we're going to need a hint. So, just to show you what the hint system <laughs> looks like, let's go to notes. Need something to fix the pump. Hint. Maybe something in this shed could help. I use the pump handle to un unlock the shed door. Okay, well, that would have took me all day to realise that I could use a pump handle to unlock a shed door. So, handle, shed door. Let's go in here then. Lights in the shed only came on when Dad's generator was running. I hadn't figured out how it worked yet, though. It wasn't your average generator. Okay, Dick. So there's something on the floor. It looked like the pitchfork had fallen from its resting place. All right, pitchfork. So I wonder if we can jam that into the water pump and use that as a handle instead. Let's have a look at that. So, pitchfork. Broken the pitchfork point. wasn't heavy enough by itself to make the handle budge. Okay, so what if we. Seems that was flashing as well. Stump, there we go. Aha! Yet another impressive feat of engineering. Well, well, well. Okay, so we've now got the water. Let's go and uh, turn the generator on. So we needed to put the water in. So water. There we go. There, that should keep it cool. What else do we need to do? It looked like something important was supposed to go in the slot. Okay, well, have we got anything? Mask. Try the crystal. Let's see. Ah. Hmm, it fits. Huh? It's glowing. So what's that telling us? Pounds. I'm gonna click the label here. on the right indicated the weight of the crystal. Okay. So that's three pounds and there's a light for ohms over here. The label on the left indicated the electrical resistance of the crystal. So that's on one, two, three, four. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, tw
four and three. So that correlates with these switches here then. So that was four and that was three. Aha. Uh -huh. So something lit up on the wall. The whole wall was covered in writing. The whole wall was covered in writing. Um can we do anything with this yet? No. Oh, that said press B then, look at that. Dad had a habit of writing on whatever was nearest at the time. Apparently he found a way to make sure I didn't clean it. He must have wanted to remember that particular pattern, but what for? Well, I'm going to assume that that dotted pattern matches the board on the right there. So let's go and put those in. So it was that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. There we go. Whatever I did, it caused the machine in the back garden to power up. Right, so let's go and check out what that's turned on in the shed. There we go. Turn the power on. See what's going off inside here. So, a button pulls the switch. Sure enough, the lights and whatever other equipment Dad constructed were receiving power. I wasn't sure if I was getting any closer to figuring out what happened to him, but it was the best lead I had. <laughs> okay, so we've got something. There was there. a hand-drawn map on the wall with two locations marked: our house and the hydroelectric dam. Your dad used to work. Okay. There was a large machine in the middle of the shed with what looked like sliding doors. Dad, you better not be stuck in there. <laughs> right. Um, something up there. I'll find a way to blame it on the dog. <laughs> yes, about right. Um. We got left. Oh yeah, stool. Let's grab the stool. There, not it. The machine appeared to have opened by itself. There was a 50-50 chance that it was intended to respond to vibration, or that it was simply as reliable as the step ladder. <laughs> Pretty funny. Alright, so. It was one of the puzzle boxes my father often made for Lily. I wasn't sure why he hadn't given her this one, but I knew she'd be happy to have it. Okay. Can we do anything the in there? The machine appeared to be waiting for something. Alright, so unfortunately, I'm going to have to leave the video there for today, but this has been my little preview of The Little Acre. I hope this video has given you a nice little insight into the game, what it looks like, and what it plays like. And if it has, don't forget to stick a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you've not already done so, it does mean a lot to us. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon.